Hello, I'm Andrea Gonsmart. I'm fifth generation of the Columbia Restaurant here in Tampa, Florida. Our restaurant was founded in 1905 by my great-great-grandfather, Casimiro Hernandez Sr. when he immigrated from Cuba to Ybor City, and we've been proudly serving guests for 116 years. Over the generations, five generations, we have grown from one small corner cafe to 15 dining rooms and 1,700 seats, encompassing the whole city block in Ybor City. We are so proud to be the oldest restaurant in the state of Florida. We're the oldest Spanish restaurant in the United States. And the fact that I can proudly say we've survived Prohibition, the Great Depression, and we're still here serving our delicious food is so amazing to me. Food & Wine named our Cuban sandwich the number one sandwich in Florida, and I'm excited to show you how we make it here. Let's go back to the kitchen show I can show you. At the Columbia Restaurant, we use only the best products. We roast our own mojo pork, we roast our own sugar-coated ham, imported Genoa salami, Swiss cheese, and of course, all Cuban sandwiches start with great Cuban bread. This is from La Segunda Central here in Ybor City. Let's get layering. We're gonna start with the ham. And the ham represents the Spaniards that came to Ybor City. Next, we're gonna go to the pork, which represents the Cubans. We'll go to our salami, which represents the Italians. Now we're gonna add our Swiss cheese, which I always say represents Ybor City because it is the melting pot of Tampa where all of these different heritages come together. So when we put it on the press, it'll melt together. Next, we're gonna add two pickles, which represents the Germans, as well as the mustard that we're gonna layer on the top piece of the bread only. The idea behind a Cuban sandwich is that it's a very balanced taste. You don't want anything to overpower each other. Top off our sandwich, and now we're gonna take it over to the press. Brush it with a little butter, so that way the top gets extra crispy. And we're gonna put it on the press until it reaches our desired pressness. Looks like we're good to go. Traditional Cuban is cut on the diagonal. So we'll cut it from corner to corner. Look at that beautiful Cuban, all those layers of meat. And that is the famous Cuban sandwich from the Columbia Restaurant in Tampa, Florida.